there is another huge caravan on its way uh, of migrants on its way from Mexico to the United States. Evidently, this is a caravan that began in southern Mexico. So on the Central American uh, border, the border with Guatemala, that's where it started to gain steam. And it's now traveling its way across Mexico uh, to the northern border, headed for, of course, the United States. And here's some images that we pulled uh, from um, actually Spanish TV uh, showing uh, the, um, the caravan moving. And you see the Mexican, um, well, you see people just pushing forward. And there's some Mexican police trying to obstruct them with shields. But as you can see, to no avail, the caravan just sort of breaks through and um, they're trekking their way on. Now, there's been some good reporting on this caravan. It's about 2,000 people strong. And it's apparently very organized. In other words, first of all, people can't just show up and join the caravan. That's not allowed. Uh, in order to be in the caravan, you're given a personal uh, code on your phone. Uh, you have to go on a website and sign up. So you can see here, this is an organized operation. And it's important to realize that it's organized by traffickers, it's organized by cartels, with the full knowledge and participation of the Biden administration. I mean, this is the shocking uh, truth of the matter. The Biden people don't start the caravan, but they know all about it. They know that they're the reason that these people are coming. In fact, one of the sort of spokesmen for the caravan basically said, we're coming because Biden's invited us. And a lot of the caravan guys have signs that show they have American flags, but they also have Biden's name on it. So Biden is kind of there. It's kind of like we're going to Biden's birthday party. We're invited, all 2,000 of us. There's cake on the other side. So these people are pushing forward. Now, let's put these numbers in perspective. I mean, there have been 192 uh, migrant encounters in the United States in September alone. Wow. And this year, fiscal year 2021, 1.7 million. So uh, it is not an exaggeration to say that Biden is essentially destroying the country at the southern border. He's, he's destroying the idea that we are even a nation with a border. And he's doing it flagrantly and openly and in collusion with the worst elements of, of Mexico. Now, so on the one hand, the Biden people say, well, you know, this is a problem that is brought about by violence and it's brought about by criminality in all these other uh, South and Central American countries and in Mexico. But even though they say that, and that's, of course, to a degree true, I mean, Mexico is Mexico's a very odd society. On the one hand, it's a functional society. It is a big trade partner of America. In fact, a bigger trade partner of America than even China or Canada. Uh, Mexico has, in some ways, a vibrant economy, but it's also a thoroughly lawless society. Uh, in other countries, you might have pockets of lawlessness. Here, it's lawless in Rio de Janeiro. There, it's lawless in Seoul, South Korea. And even in America, we have, obviously, crime uh, sort of nodes in inner cities. But in Mexico, it's everywhere. In Mexico, there's open highway robbery. In, Mex in Mexico, the trains are blocked by criminals. In Mexico, uh, criminality, violence, the prospect of kidnapping, death uh, pervades the whole society. So you've got this kind of, it's almost a failed state. It's certainly a dysfunctional society. But here's my point. The Biden people are making it worse. Why? Because they've essentially created a lucrative criminal enterprise that goes beyond drugs. It's essentially human trafficking. And the Biden people are encouraging, fortifying, in a sense, bankrolling. Um, uh, and they've created this huge industry in human beings. And it's occurring on a, on a mass scale. Um, Biden, of course, seems to be in the, in the kind of cranky octogenarian or septuagenarian style that he's known for, you know, just kind of crabbily indifferent. He was asked about it. He goes, you know, I've been down there. I've been down to the border before. He goes, I guess I should go down. Uh, kind of like an irritable, you know, old man who's basically asked, you know, haven't you checked this out? Yeah, yeah, I guess I could check it out. I, I once checked it out when I was 30, you know. But the truth of it is Biden hasn't checked it out. He's actually never, when he was a candidate in 2008, um, the, uh, he apparently did a drive-by <laughs> the border. That is the sole evidence that anyone has of Biden ever having been to the border. So he's invoking a drive-by 
really, um, what, 13 years ago as evidence that he really knows what's going on. Maybe he'll go down and maybe he won't, but he's sort of seen it, been there, done that. So this is the kind of uh, irritable guy that we have at the wheel. We're in a very dangerous situation. I think it's very clear to see on many different fronts, but um, one of those fronts is a completely porous uh, border that's being exploited, I would say, by gangsters on both sides.